I wanted to start the video off by uh, mentioning, so we're gonna go to the B yard here in just a little bit, and I'll show you a little run through of that VM Eliminator, the commercial oxalic acid cannon or whatever you wanna call it. It's an awesome machine. Uh, and then we'll be talking a little bit further about using oxalic acid this time of the year. But I did wanna put this in the video up front. I talk about it a little bit later too, but that is make sure to check your bees for winter weight. Um, a couple of weeks ago, they may have been good, but because of all the mild temperatures we've been getting, they're very active still. And they're really burning through the stores. We're actually having to do another round of feed in our colonies. It's kind of getting expensive. Uh, so just a heads up about that. But uh, anyways, now to the bee yard. Okay, so not sure if you can understand me or not, but I still have my respirator on which is really important to use when working with oxalic acid this is the new toy oxalic acid crystals go in this end the plunger just to make sure if there's clogs or anything this is your trigger which uh, activates the air flow so you have electric electric and an air line operates at 100 psi your on and off switch we're checking it off now um and your air uh, your air control as far as how much airflow you want out the end um i would say that i could treat 100 hives in about 15 20 minutes maybe 25 minutes uh, really like this thing. It's done. It's made by VM Eliminators in Manitoba, Canada, by Alan Martin and his son. And uh, you know, I mean, I I really like it. It's it's very effective, very useful. And obviously, okay, you got your airline, your electric line, and then you just have a generator compressor. Uh, I think both of these I got at Harbor Freight. I know I got this one at Harbor Freight. I believe this is from Harbor Freight too. And uh, yeah, I mean, and anyway, so we'll uh, I'll switch to me not having this respirator on, talk a little bit more about it. Um, yeah, but uh, that kind of just gives you, use the turkey baster with the oxalic acid, turkey baster to fill on the end here. But uh, really like this thing electric uh, control heat control and uh did really well got all the hives done this uh this morning okay so i'm back in my boring office with a hole in the wall which i have no idea what that's from but anyway um so a couple of key things that we're observing for winter preparation obviously we just came or you saw the video of the new oxalic acid cannon or whatever you want to call it it's made by VM Eliminator. We'll put the link down in the description below. Um, so very important, oxalic acid. Uh, we're gonna talk about that real quickly and just some of the risk factors using it this time of year. Secondly too, something very important to uh, keep an eye on is because our weather has been so mild here, the bees are burning through their feed like there's no tomorrow. And so the hives that you may have checked two or three weeks ago that were at a proper wintering weight, you may want to check again, or I would highly suggest you check again to make sure that they haven't burned through a lot of those stores. Um, we're having to go back in hives that were at a great wintering weight a couple of weeks ago uh, are needing another gallon and a half, two gallons of feed now. So uh, just, just keep that in mind as far as winter preparations. Uh, getting back to the oxalic acid. So this time of the year, um, oxalic acid is an incredibly effective treatment option. It's incredibly economical. I mean, it, it's so cheap. I mean, we buy a 50 pound bag of oxalic acid for like 200 bucks from a supply center down in California. And at 50 pounds, I mean, it, it, that's gonna last us three, a couple of years, at least two or three years, um, maintaining around that 12 to 1400 hive uh, colony uh, number. However, 
using oxalic acid this time of the year is risky if it's your only treatment method that you're relying on, simply because oxalic acid is only effective in killing mites that are external, that are not in the cat brood. I can't remember what you call it, phoretic, phoretic, or anyways, external mites. Whereas two third of the mite population in the hive is usually enclosed in capped broods. So there's a lot of people I run into that are trying to use oxalic acid as their only mite treatment. And they'll do like one oxalic acid vaporization once every seven days, three times or something like that. That will not get your mite count to where you need it to be. Um, you need to treat, if you're going to use oxalic acid as your main mite treatment, you need to treat at least every three days through a whole brood cycle. So that's what, you know, 21 days, uh, 28 days, if you want to be on the safe side so that you're including drone brood, because that's the gestation period, um, which I'm not sure what that ends up being. But just say, if, if you really want to be safe using only oxalic acid, you're gonna to wanna to do 10 treatments every three days. So you're covering 30 days of making sure that the oxalic acid crystals are active enough and they're numerous enough in the hive to kill mites as uh, they expose themselves out of the capped brood. For us, um, I was just wanting to kind of, the reason we're using it this time of the year, our main uh, mite treatment that we use is Amitraz or Apivar is the uh, brand name. And uh, that's, that's what we rely on mostly. But usually about the end of November, beginning of December, we switch to using oxalic acid because in our area, there's minimal to almost no brood, capped brood present in the hives. This oxalic acid treatment that we're doing right now it's just kind of a, our mite numbers are good where they're currently at. And so this was just a, me kind of getting used to the machine while also, you know, killing off, you know, one third of the mites in the colony that existed after us doing our amitraz treatment. So um, just be really careful with that. There's a lot of people who rely exclusively on the oxalic acid, but don't understand how aggressive you have to be with it if that's your only treatment method that you're going to use. Um, so just, just be aware of that. Anyways, hope uh, we'll do a little bit better of a video tutorial of this uh, oxalic acid cannon, but just because of the, uh, the air hose and the electric and everything, you need two people there, one to film and one that's operating the machine. But anyway, hopefully this has been helpful to you. I will catch you later.